are stunning. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of them. They look so good, so let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Koali Pops. My name is Martha Stewart, and today we are creating butterfly cakes. So I found these on Wish. Look at them. They're butterflies, but they're made of wafers. So you can eat them. Look at this. You know when you go to church and you go like this and the priest gives you the the Eucharist, right? And he puts it in your hand and you eat it. Body of Christ, you know what I'm talking about. You Catholic, you know what I'm talking about. That's what these taste like. And when I saw them, I was like, I could make some really simple cakes and they would look extraordinary with these butterflies. So that's what we're doing today. These videos, I made them specifically for Instagram. So I shot them this way as opposed to this way. Oh my God, my phone screen is so dirty. And I wasn't gonna make a YouTube video, but looking back at the footage, man, this is a wasted opportunity if I don't make a video for this. They're stunning, each of them are so good looking. First off, we're starting with a pink cake. Now I am experimenting with marble cakes and I'm using red. So we got all the cake basics going on. We, I added a crumb coat, a full coat of buttercream, and then I started to add some decorative color with pink. I'm adding a little bit of texture with some white pearl sprinkles, and then I'm adding all of my pink wafer butterflies. Stunning, this is gorgeous. Now this is only a four inch cake, so if you wanna recreate this and create like a 10 inch cake, just make it super tall, add all these butterflies, you're good to go. Now I added some pink carnations to the top, I'm adding some butterflies on top as well, and voila, my cake is complete. Oh my gosh, it looks, wow! <laughs> I have no words. It just looks so beautiful I could cry. Now let's move on to the second cake. So for this cake, I'm using blue. Whoa, you see that? Oh my gosh. Look at the editing. Bam. Oh my gosh, why didn't I do that with the first one? Now I'm starting with a crumb coat, then a final coat of white buttercream, and then I started to add some blue. So I'm adding some smears of blue buttercream and then I'm using more blue buttercream to create a spiral. Now you're not gonna see the spiral, I'm going to cover it with a ton of butterflies. So I got a butterfly spiral. What? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. How lovely is that? I just, I'm blown away. <laughs> and it's not even me, it's these things. Oh my gosh. Do that again. Let me watch that again. Oh, I'm in love. That is gorgeous, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that marble. Wow. That could be in a wedding magazine. That looks so good. I was only gonna do two of these cakes, but then I had leftover batter, so I decided to make a third cake. I was gonna use purple butterflies, but I didn't have any purple butterflies. So I used a little bit of red food coloring on my blue butterflies. I let them dry, and it turned into this really nice purple color, so I used them to create this masterpiece. Now I'm gonna say that this is not an edible cake because I just used whatever I had left. I bought a bouquet of like blue hydrangeas with like these pink carnations, and there was also these purple flowers. I just stuck them to the side of this cake, added some of my purple butterflies as well, and then, oh my gosh, so sick. I don't even wanna talk, I just wanna enjoy watching my hands create this masterpiece, this inedible masterpiece. Wow, look at that. Oh, stunning, look at that. What is that, is that a chrysanthemum? It looks beautiful, whatever it is. Now, like I said, those are real flowers going onto the side of my cake. If you wanna recreate this, you can use fondant flowers, you can create some flowers with some buttercream. Take these ideas, use them for client cakes. I wanna see pictures on Instagram. I wanna see them everywhere, link them to me. Oh my God, I forgot about this. Oh. <laughs> I don't know a better way to cut into a cake, man. I got them for Christmas. Oh my gosh, guess who got them for me? Me, I got that for myself. I love myself that much. <laughs> now I'm curious, would you like to see more simple cake ideas like this? I know a lot of you that follow me are cake decorators, so if you need ideas, I'm your guy. Take them, make a whole bunch of money, all right? Now I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you, I'll see you very soon. Bye. 
So I got my wafer butterflies dirt cheap and I wanted to show you guys a really nice simple floral design. So I'm spackling on some pink buttercream, adding some white sixlets, my butterflies, and to top it off, I'm going to add some pink carnations. Voila, damn, look at that marble, man. Oh, I'm so proud. So for my second design, I'm using my blue butterfly wafers and I decided to go with a blue marble on the inside. So I've got a crumb coat, a base coat. I'm gonna spackle on some blue buttercream and I'm also gonna create a blue spiral of buttercream that wraps all the way around my cake. I'm gonna cover my spiral with all of my blue butterflies. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. And then we got hydrangeas on top. Wow, look at that color. Oh my gosh, that is lovely. Now for my third cake, I'm using blue butterflies that I dyed with a little bit of red food coloring to make them purple. I'm adding some purple flowers onto the side. These are real flowers. So this cake isn't really edible. <laughs> I'm just hoping that you take this design and you turn it into something that is. Instead of using real flowers on the side, you can make some out of buttercream or fondant. Just take my idea and run wild with it. Oh my gosh. If you really wanna make your cake look spectacular on a small budget, with minimal effort, just buy these wafer butterflies and they'll make your cake look extraordinary. Oh my gosh, I don't feel like I did anything. <laughs> the butterflies did all the work. After cutting into my first two butterfly cakes, I decided to do something different for the third. Instead of using a knife, I'm using my Wolverine claws. Look. Oh, and just sink them in and oh my gosh, what a great way to ruin a cake. You know those people who are like using swords to cut their wedding cakes? Um, you're doing it wrong. You need some Wolverine claws, okay? This was the best investment I've ever made. Also, kind of the most useless. <laughs> but they are pretty entertaining. So maybe you want to get yourself some. 